What's up guys, it's Al. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Water Red Nuzlocke. So, today we're standing outside of the... What exactly is this called? Oh, it's just the gate of the Pokemon League. And so we're going to go through Victory Road today. Because that's the last thing you got to do before you go to the Pokemon. And Route 23, that means one more route. Which means, we got two more Pokemon we can catch. Man, nothing over there. And yeah, all these guys are here just to have an in-game check. Because I think if you somehow just walk through walls and skip all the way to the Pokemon League, I think they still check if you have all the badges in your inventory. I, 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 I could be wrong. I think there was a guy who did... A couple of YouTube videos about it. But. All right. So I don't want our last Pokemon to be another Water type. So so bad. I wonder what they have here at the last stretch of the Pokemon game. Ooh, nothing over there. This guy's gonna ask for the earth bed. Here we are at Victory Road. One last place to go through before we're where we need to be. Oh, a full restore. Okay. Uh, so let's try and get. There we go. <laughs> Our last Pokemon's gonna be a buzzing. Alright. The funny thing is, there's like a high chance this thing's just gonna use self destruct. Just gonna use self destruct. Oh uh, no, pin him so okay. So let's see. Um Shadow Ball stab, but this thing has a lot of physical defense. I mean if we don't get a coughing, I'm not gonna Yeah, I'll say I'm not worried about it. Unless we have to catch one in this cave. Cause then then I'll be upset. Yeah, and it's just one more puzzle until we're done. Uh, Alright, much up. Technically, I do have to catch this. Let's see. I think stone free, because I have to use... Actually, it might be a one... It's going to be a one-hit KO dark bust. Uh... Rock slide should work. Oh, that was a crit. Okay. Let's catch Karen for a third time. Oh, wow. It's a, it, this one is also a female. It's like... Uh... I'm gonna do Karen like this. this one. It, it's like a new... And we'll see what else we can get here. Yeah, and it's just one last strength puzzle before the end here. Nothing too important. Alright, and that's just so you can get to the next floor. Oh, we could have gotten a zoo bolt. The fact that we never caught one of those is very surprising. Or one of these. The fact that it's faster than my Camille and said. Alright, so I think if you go... I think this gives you Dragon Claw? Oh, okay. That means the other TM is for Dragon Claw. I'll get that later. I don't even know who I would want to teach Dragon Claw to. Probably the Porygon, just because it's... Uh... It actually has a special attack stat. Oh, well, Asta, after 55 levels, finally has one, too, but... And I'm just gonna use... Juice to get rid of... Stinks, mostly because I don't want to get poisoned. And you still have first-form Pokemons this late into the... The game? 
Come on, bro. You try to go. You got all four poke. Uh, all, you beat all eight gyms, and this is what you have. A wind picks. Are you serious? Okay, now this this is more like it. so nine gales. Um, just a I, just a wind. I was gonna say just a wind type. So this is just a flying type. Oh yeah, I taught Mitch's no lean ice beam one. For some reason, I think Mrs. Nolene was the only Pokemon I can like, learn it for some reason. And... I don't know. Uh, I want to keep Toxic on Juice just in case. Because there's only so many times they can full restore. They can, they can fully heal. Um, poison, you know. So we're... Not gonna let anything get in our way. So, Chop Chameleon. That'd be good for our Dark and Ghost type. A oh, Lava Sword. Okay, does he just have all the starters? Yeah, or Air Turtle. Oh, and a Karatazar. Hmm. You don't know how, uh, how upset I am that Alan was just a waste of time. I mean, he was good for when he was around, but didn't really do anything. Oh, also, that's, uh, that little bump right there. You want to use, use the strength puzzle to get rid of all the buttons. Yeah, it's kind of, um, funny how hard strength puzzles were when you were, like, 10 years old, but now that you just kind of look at them, they're super easy. And I'm pretty sure uh, they go away as well. So. Mud choke. Oh, easy. Giga Shireen. Yeah, I would like to get Chia some levels just because uh, other than a wild Pokemon, there's really nothing I can do to give her more levels. So that's what I'm trying to do. Uh, Sandstorm, it's okay. Could be a lot better. And then, this guy should be a bird guy, so... I'll go ahead and use Dragon Quest. This would be, like, really the first time on screen that we actually see Dragon Quest do anything. And it would be against a, uh, <laughs> a water type. Yeah, because as we figure this thing out, as we figured it out, this thing is a uh, fire dragon type. Uh, that's a pretty good typing, uh, mostly because I'm. I didn't want to use Ampharos because against any ice types, most of the time they're also water types, so that'd be super effective against him. And Ampharos is also really slow, so does not do any favors. And then for Blaze, it I mean they are they're gra they're grass fire, which is. Uh, pretty good, but they really don't have that good of a level up, like a move set. Like, and they might have been taking enough to take like ice type moves, but every time they ever did, they just uh, probably too slow to utilize the grass type move next to get HP back. So I just kind of want to stick with something that will that's fast, has enough HP to survive. And, uh, you know, has fire because uh, really that's the only reliable way we're gonna be able to beat the bl balloon toys. It's not called a balloon toys, is it? Um, it probably is. But yeah, it's like the most reliable way we are. We're, we're gonna beat the balloon toys. I mean, there's probably, I mean, there's other ways we can do it, like if we put Asta out there, but I don't want to risk a, like, critical fly. A Sir Icer, wow. The fact, uh, wow, we haven't seen a single trigger with that, and it's probably an Ice Fire type. That's a really cool typing.
Also, a really good sprite, too. Wow. That did a lot of damage. So, Sky Cup should be fine. I know Brick Brick has more accuracy, but also really doesn't have that many strong moves. So, this is kind of the best bet. A cold up. Pretty sure it's just a pure fire type, but I could be wrong. It could be it could be a rock type too, but I think it's a pure fire type. Easy. It's just a Oh, Mr. Crime. Oh my gosh, it did a lot of damage. That was a critical hit on Crunch. And oh, it's just hail. Yeah, you know, surprisingly, we didn't use a single. Okay, we didn't use a single ice type uh, during the run at all, which is unusual. But I mean, with how many ice types there were in this game, at least I don't. I don't remember us doing any ice type Pokemon. Oh, you heard rumors of a child prodigy? I wonder if that's me. Yeah, I'd probably talking about Gary though. Oh. So the thing is, well, you can't hit Mrs. Nolene with a normal type move. So, oh yeah, they're normal. I, you know, this was. Not the smartest move, but it was a smart move at the same time. Uh, this is what we're here for, huh? Spook Slash? I could probably defeat it with one Shadow Ball, but I'm not taking that uh, chance with Mrs. Nalene. Especially so close to the end here. Electrofrost, so it's probably like a grass electrotype. That's really cool. I um, mean, too bad we didn't see it at all. Uh, max revive, we can sell that for some money later. Another strength puzzle. Alright, I don't think we're gonna see anything cool, so I'll just go ahead and put a max repel on. Oh, and I probably doomed the puzzle. Yeah. Oh, Overheat. That's a really good move. Elite 4, Chop Million. Icy King. Oh, okay. I'm not even going to try and worry about that. Oh, the pros. Awesome. Oh, a Fist Stone. Oh yeah, this is where you would originally find Moltres in Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow. Since the Sevi Islands didn't exist. There we go. There we go. Now that fixes the little thing that was next to the actually it was probably right here what was I trying to talk about then can't go that way I thought we, I thought it was the thing next to the uh, bird trainer well the guy that looks like a bird trainer anyway on the lower floor oh Water, uh, fire, normal type. That's actually really good type. Chansey. Not gonna mess with that. Dragon Quest. Ooh. It's gonna use Sync. Flamethrower. Probably still has insane amounts of, uh, special defense and HP like Chansey usually does. This thing is a poison uh, fighting type, so that goes down really quickly. 
Asta. The Sky Uppercut. A Banana Gong. So it's probably a fire. T it's probably a. Oh, oh, the Dugong. I did not notice this thing was supposed to be a banana peel. Even when its first evolution was literally named Peel. I thought it was electric type because it was yellow for some reason, but um, I'm very wrong by that by that noise right there. Alright, but we are almost done with Vickery Road here. And we finally get to see a Sky Dawn. Okay. Honestly, and plus they actually had to change its sprites. So that actually looks really cool. I mean, still a rock type, so it still has zero special defense, but, you know, it's the thought that counts. Alright, so water flying. I don't have any electric moves, but there's not really a whole lot of flying types in the Elite Four. So hopefully just Asta with Rock Slide will be enough to get rid of them. And meant to pull Poison Psychic type. So Dark Ball should be fine. And the oh uh, balloon a uh, balloon noise. Oh, I think I was close. All right, so this is gonna be a test run against when we have to fight Gary for Dragon Quest. I'm pretty sure Gary's is probably gonna be like ten levels higher, but it'll be fun. Super effective. And if I look at my balloon toys, it does not have that much uh, special defense. It's just uh, physically bolted with all of HP. And there's another poison type. Uh, old sprout. Oh, okay. I was still expecting that to be a one okay, yeah. What a weird looking sprite. Oh, I wonder if that thing had X Scissor. That would have been really bad for me if it did. We got a Juice. The fact that Juice has not learned, like, Sledge Bomb or anything like that scares me, but we'll be fine. Uh, that's not what I meant. I'll be right back. Alright, so I dropped down with the Strength Rock this time. And now it should unlock this one. Yeah, this is the one I was thinking about. Alright. Alright, everyone's full. Let's go ahead and fight this double pad. We're trying to become champions together. You do know that's not how that works, right? Like, uh... Oh, use Protect. Ooh, X is... I probably should have thought of it. You know, we're we're just gonna go ahead and switch out uh, Chia just in case he uses a fire type move. That wasn't gonna hit. And this is actually he doesn't even fight you. He's just the guy who teaches you double edge. In recognition of your feat of going through the victory cave, uh, victory road, I'm gonna teach you double edge. So did they change how double edge is in this game? Did they change takedown? Because if they did, I might wanna. Delete strength and put on double edge. That's 120 base power move, but we do have hyper beam for that. I think double edge also does like half the amount of HP you do to them. So it's just not a, it's not really good for when I'm playing the the survival game. And we're back on Route 23, so we cannot catch another new Pokemon even if we wanted to. But we're finally at the Indigo Plateau. Oh, let's see. Do these plaques say anything? The ultimate goal of trainers, the Pokemon Headquarters. The highest Pokemon authority. The highest... Oh, wait, what? Oh, okay, all the ones on the left say the ultimate goal of trainers, and the ones on the right say the highest authority. Huh? I'm going to just go ahead and heal real quick. 
let's look at what the advisor guys say. Yo, it's the champion in the making. Pokemon Lee, you're going to fight the Elite Four all in a row. You lose, you have to start all over. This is it. Go for it. That's all he's got to say to us. You're going to face the Elite Four one by one. If you win, a door opens to the next trainer. Good luck. Wow. These people, they just don't got nothing to say. All right. So the thing is, we have a lot of rare candies. Um, I might just use those on stream, and I'll see who you guys want me to give them to. But, um... Yeah, this is kind of it. I need to make it even. If I don't do that, I'll, I'll cry. Plenty of full heals. So 25 four stars, 20 max potions, and then I still have. Uh, I still got some lemonades. So I'm gonna go ahead and use some PP ups on some moves we're gonna be using a lot here. None of his. Probably none of yours either. I mean, this will just save me PP for later, is the thing. But yeah, Chi is definitely going to be using a lot of Giga Drains. Dragon Quest? We'll do Draco Meteor. Just in case. Because that's a really strong move, and we're going to definitely use it against Lance. And then... I might teach him Dragon Claw if he can learn it. Just because he has a better, he, he's a little faster, and has more, he's actually not that much faster, actually. Aust is faster. But Dragon Quest does have a better special attack stat, for like almost 40 points, so that's a lot. And yeah, I think that's it. So, next time you see, I uh, see you guys, it'll probably be on stream. Um... At least that's the that's the goal anyway. Is to stream it this Thursday, June twenty third, and yeah, I I just yeah we're gonna stream the Elite Four become champions and then it's on to the next adventure. So uh, like always, if you guys like this video, go ahead and leave a like. It, uh, and a comment it's really good for the youtube algorithm really helps me out uh, if you like this content go and subscribe there's gonna be a lot more of it and like always i'll see you when i see you